If you are a teacher's pay teacher, entrepreneur, or a teacherpreneur, as we like to call it, and you are using Microsoft Word to create your worksheets or anything that you're selling on the site, you need to stop that right now. We need to convert you ASAP to PowerPoint. The beauty part about PowerPoint is that you can manipulate images and text at will so that you don't have to worry about it reformatting your page or enlarging in a weird way that you don't like. So let me show you what I mean. I have set my slide to be um, portrait and if you are not familiar with that I do have a tutorial on how to change your slide from landscape to portrait so be sure to click on that and then one thing I like to do is I like to go and purchase um, cute fonts and I like to purchase cute borders and so I keep those on hand. So let me show you some cute frames. Creative Clips has some really cute frames if you're not familiar with some of the cute places to purchase them. So that one already fits right there perfect in the middle, but I'm going to make sure that it's in the middle by going to Arrange go to align or distribute and click center and it looks like it's centered visually I want to move it over a little bit though okay now what I can do is I can add a text box on top of that and my favorite font to use is A8 Claire by Amy Alvis and I'm going to make it big let's say 42 and I can start typing Hello and welcome. So maybe this is a newsletter that I'm going to send out to families and hang up in my classroom or something. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. And I want to insert another text box. And maybe this is going to say, welcome to Mrs. Magalano's class. Please find your seat and start drawing. Maybe I'll have paper on the desks. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. Let me go back to my font. And I'm going to make that maybe a little bit bigger. 24. Put it in the middle so it's cutesy wootsy. And I want to maybe add a cute little... Um, clip art that I've purchased. So I go to insert photo picture from file and wherever you saved it, I save mine on my external hard drive under clip art. I like to keep mine all nice and tidy. Uh, Little Red Schoolhouse is a great place to get fonts. I'm mean, not fonts, <laughs> clip art. And since I'm going to be copying this, I'm going to use her black and white stamps. And I will insert a boy and a girl into the drawing. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. And back to school. And I want black and white. And here we go. No problems with any fonts getting moved around or text getting moved around compared to pictures you can make them as cute as big as you want and as small as you want without worry of messing up with the other stuff so thanks for watching